So the first play in our counter series is our 25 counter. If you remember, our tailback is the two man and he is on the left side, but we're actually gonna sell him going to the right and have him come back to the left. Uh, we have a lot of counters. We have them to the quarterback, to the, full, to the quarterback, the fullback, and the wingback. But the first one we're going to start out with is 25 counter uh, to our tailback. If you remember in our essentials video, the five is the coach of the play because it's a second number called. So what he is going to do is going to call for the double team. All right, from him all the way to the center. They all have on to down. Okay, on to down, on to down, on to down. The first man outside of the number called has down to backer, like we've been talking about. So in this on block and this on to down block, our double team will uh, form. Our center has no one to down, uh, on block, so he's going to down block. And on counters, our guard is now our kickout guy, as opposed to on powers, the fullback is the kickout guy. So our guard is going to go for the near hip of the first person that he passes and eat as much ground as possible and get his head to the inside. Like we talked about earlier, you always want your head where you don't want the defender to go. If that defensive end were to squeeze too hard for him to kick out or wrong arm, we're going to go ahead and log block him and take it out one hole wider. But for today, we're going to talk about him getting his kick out. The first person through the hole is our tackle, and he's going to go ahead and get an S1 pull, which means he's going to get one foot of depth, and he's going to go ahead and attack the first linebacker that he sees. The tight end over here can help the guards uh, kick out by taking a little bit of a jab step, and he goes to the second backer inside uh, that is lined up. We always number our linebackers from the first person inside the tight end to the last person. So that's why you see a one, a two, and a three. So he's going to go ahead and go out to the two backer while the tackle goes ahead and goes for the one backer. Our tight end has cut the cutoff just like he does in the power series. So he's going to near shoot that tackle, cut off the three backer. If not get the three backer, he's going to get the safety. All right. Um, as far as the backfield is concerned, our tailback is going to take his open crossover step and then he's going to come towards his power uh, step for another um, 45 degree step and then he's going to cut it back and read what that guard does to the defensive end. Again, if the guard uh, logs that defensive end, we're taking it one hole wider. Our fullback's going to take his little small jab step and then he's going to lead through and the first person he looks through is, in, is inside. He's kind of replacing what the tackle normally does on power because the guard is normally replacing what he does on power. So since the guard is the kick out, the tackle is the first man through, and that's why he has an S1 pull. And now the, tight end, the fullback generally uh, has more depth, so he doesn't have to get any more depth, and he turns his into an S2 pull, which means looking inside. On the backside over here, we're going to go ahead and check the backside. The uh, wing can go ahead and run a route. He can run a fade. He can go ahead and down block. But I also like him to go ahead and pull for three steps, a lot like the backside tackles do when they have no tight end on them, because this play does hit a little bit slower, and this defensive end, if he were to come crashing hard, uh, could probably make the play in the backfield. Our quarterback is going to ride him just like power, and then he's going to go ahead and get out wide. And again, him getting out wide influences uh, that corner and defensive end. And in actuality, he doesn't necessarily have to ride him. Right? Let me take that back. Recently, what we've done is done a quick handoff uh, to the tailback to try to get a quicker influence on that defensive end, enabling uh, that guard to get a better kick out. So again, he can do the long ride like he does in power, or he can give it to him and go right away, which gets him out and seen a little bit quicker by these two guys who are key uh, to influencing to get the kick out. All right, um, and again, like I said, the tailback is going to take his normal behind the foot crossover, head towards the uh, uh, B gap, and then cut it back towards the backside B gap as the quarterback is giving him the ball, influencing him to the outside. Okay, so that's 25 counter against a 4-3 front. Let's go ahead and take a look at that out on the field. 